broadcasting to listeners in Southeast and East Asia on 13720 kilohertz and to listeners in Port Moresby and Papua New Guinea on 101.9 FM. This is PCJ Radio International. <laughs> This is Francis Asia Pacific from PCJ Radio International. I'm Mendel Stennett. Coming out, Vietnam releases more dissidents and the wide practice of illegal logging on Papua New Guinea. <laughs> Vietnam has released two more high profile dissidents, making a total of four political prisoners freed over the past three weeks. Observers say the releases were spurred by Vietnam's desire to conclude a trade agreement with the U.S. and other Asian countries. Kanaha Sabapati reports. That was Kanaha Sabapati reporting. Blogger Nguyen Tien Trung and democracy activist Lee Doc Hoi were released on Monday and put under house arrest. Their release comes just a week after that of prominent activist and lawyer Ku Hoi Ha Bu, who left soon after for the U.S., which had campaigned for his freedom. Late in March, Another activist, Din Dang Din, was given a presidential amnesty after it became clear that he was dying from cancer, which was not attended to while he was in prison. He passed away two weeks later. Dr. Phong Nguyen, the Australian representative of Viet Khan, the banned Vietnam Reform Party based in the U.S. says, Hanoi is once again, as in 2006, when it was seeking entry into the World Trade Organization, using dissidents as a bargaining chip. So what they do is uh, they arrested and imprisoned score of activists. And then when there's something's coming up, this particular time, the TPP coming up, then they uh, release them uh, as a bargaining chip saying that the human rights situation has improved. But in fact, it is not. Vietnam is in negotiations with the U.S. over the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP, which includes 10 other countries, including Australia. But members of the U.S. Congress warned it would be difficult to pass a free trade deal involving Vietnam if there is no progress made by Hanoi on its poor human rights record. Phil Robertson, the deputy director of the Asian Division of Human Rights Watch, says Vietnam is anxious enough for a deal to make these very limited concessions. What we're seeing now is Vietnam responding to international pressure. But the important message that comes out of all of this is that Vietnam is susceptible to international pressure. But so far, with the exception of a few of these releases, we're not seeing a consistent pattern of significant change within the Vietnam government about what they're doing related to dissidents and activists. Last year, this had been...